What is going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Before we get started on today's video, I gotta correct a mistake I made and I was called out on a few times. So, if you don't know already, this is not a TRD Off-Road Premium 4Runner. It is just the TRD Off-Road. Okay, so no premium, my bad. It's my first press vehicle, give me a break. But the way you can know from now on, um, if you're someone that's not familiar with 4Runners, if this was a TRD Off-Road Premium, these would be leather seats, soft tex, and it would have TRD stitched in the headrest. It would also be heated seats. And that's just a couple things that uh, separate this TRD Off-Road from the TRD Off-Road Premium. Now, you guys know how I roll. Because I made a mistake, I gotta pay the piper. So here we go. Okay, well, I hope that makes us even. So today, we gotta talk a little bit about this fantastic vehicle um, and what the demographic I feel they're going after with this vehicle. Now, I have driven this 4Runner around now for just about 24 hours, not 24 hours straight. I've had it for 24 hours. I've driven it everywhere. I haven't had the camera on. I'm just trying to get a good feel for it. Um, you know, use all of the options inside. We will be doing a walk around video when it is not as windy as it is outside today. I went to a few different locations to try to find a spot to do a walk around video without the wind. And there is a way I could do it where I film outside and then we come back around and I do a voiceover, but that's no fun. So we have the vehicle for a week. We will get a walk around inside and out eventually. But today I want to talk about what I feel this vehicle is uh, geared towards. Now, bear with me here. So this is definitely the vehicle for an outdoorsman. And what I mean by that specifically, a fisherman, hunter, hiker, this thing does it all. And it doesn't have a lot of those nannies that we always talk about. It doesn't have Toyota Safety Sense. It's pretty bare minimum in a great way though. Like I wouldn't mind taking this thing off road and just getting it dirty every weekend and then taking it to work on Monday. It just has characteristics about it that are just different from any other vehicle I've ever driven. Now mind you, this is not my first 4Runner I've ever driven, but this is the first TRD off-road or trail, if you're talking about the older ones, and my first one with the KDSS suspension on it. And somebody asked me this the other day, so let me address this right now. They asked me if I felt that the 4Runner had a lot of body roll to it. The person that was asking was a Tundra owner and said that he felt the 4Runner had more body roll than the Tundra. Now I agree with you on the 2017 SR5 Premium I drove, that had a lot of body roll, but this, with this KDSS suspension, I feel like it is really down into the road when it needs to be. It definitely has a little bit of brake dive, a little bit of body roll, nothing crazy. Uh, the handling surprises me of how good it is in this specific TRD off-road. But for the person that is going to be going out every weekend into the mountains, doing some small off-roading trips, even large off-roading trips, going fishing on the beach, things like that, this might be what you want. And I'm not talking about 4Runner. I'm talking about 4Runner TRD off-road. No premium. I'm actually very happy I didn't get the premium. This has everything you need in it and nothing more. That's the way I'm going to put it. You get the engine that, you know, is built to last, reliable, been around forever, bulletproof, okay? The 4-liter V6. And it was it's no slouch. Don't listen to people when they tell you it's uh, an underpowered engine because I'm telling you, I'm maybe they feel that way. I feel like it can hold its own. In no way shape or form is it a speed demon, but it can hold its own in traffic, no problem. I've been driving into headwind all day with it, yesterday and today, no problem holding speed, um, no problem when I'm already up to speed and I need more speed, no issues whatsoever with that. Um, it's a fun vehicle to drive. I feel like I'm in something different when I'm in this vehicle. So this would definitely be something I buy if I was someone that did a lot of adventure type stuff or did a lot of fishing. I'm gonna use my father as an example here. He bought a 2018 Tundra Okay, we all know that by now. He bought a Limited. Um, one of the things, and that's not his first pickup truck. That's like his fifth or sixth pickup truck. One of his things, he always buys a pickup truck because he always goes on the beach and he doesn't want to get the interior of an SUV messy. But when he was in this yesterday with me, when we I went to show him the truck, of course, he was saying that he kind of wish he got this because this is exactly what he needs. Security, 
because you can obviously lock the tailgate and lock the inside of the truck. It's not like a pickup truck where you have to get a cap or a tonneau cover that locks. You could put these seats down, so it's pretty much, it acts like a pickup truck. It has washable surfaces in it, so if you want to put anything in it, like fishing poles or coolers and stuff like that, it washes right out, no problem. Like, this thing is meant for the outdoorsman. And once again, I'm speaking of the trim, the TRD off-road. So if you're in the market, you really got to check this thing out. I love just everything about the interior. I love how basic it is. Very straight to the point, but it has everything you need. You know, you got your terrain select, your crawl control if you need that. Um, you got the old school four-wheel drive. Use the stick instead of just a button on the dash like this. I kind of see where Toyota is going with this, an adventure vehicle. I don't really think I want it to change. Now, like we said yesterday, there definitely are some things that could use a little update here and there on it, but overall, this vehicle is perfect as is. I wouldn't mind blind spot monitoring for on-road travel, parking sensors, ones that you could turn off. But overall, this thing belongs in the mountains. This thing belongs on the dirt, and I gotta buy me one of these, I think. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with me. TRD off-road trim 4Runner is totally meant for a good time. I want to hear from some of the owners out there of this specific truck and trim what you think and some long-term ownership stuff. Now, being a Tundra owner that I am, I am still not mad that I'm in this thing. Uh, the Tundra obviously has a lot more power, but this is just a different feeling. It's just, a, it's just different. It's different and I love it. I got to be honest with you, Forerunner is winning my heart over every day. So obviously through the week, we will be doing some what I like and what I dislike. There are a few things I dislike we will go over at. But for now, I will continue to drive it around and learn more about this vehicle, learn about some of the things I would change on it, some of the things I would upgrade and come back at you. Like I said, if you want any video specifically made about this Forerunner TRD off-road, please let me know. Or Twitter and Instagram at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. You guys have a great day, and thank you for watching. Here's two things the Tundra should take note on. In the Tundra, I would love to see this black. Pretty much the same steering wheel, but I'd love to see this black. And look, you're never going to have chrome shining in your eyes because it's all carbon fiber in here. Everything in this is black. Big high five.